Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. PLA Navy or PLAN has already commissioned four massive type 055 Rinhai class destroyers and another four are under construction. They are having a displacement of 13,000 ton. The warship is the largest surface combatants in the world. If you look at the biggest destroyer of Indian Navy, it's INS Vishakhapatnam with a displacement close to 7,400 ton. Though it's huge in itself, but not compared to PLA Navy's Type 055 class destroyers. The primary armament of Type 055 is missile carried in its 112 cell vertical launch system, which has 64 cells forward and 48 cells aft. The Type 055 is expected to carry HQ-9 surface-to-air missiles, YJ-18 anti-ship cruise missiles, CJ-10 land attack cruise missiles, and missile-launched anti-submarine torpedoes. The answer to PLA Navy's massive destroyer is going to be India's Project 18 class destroyers. These warships are going to be massive next-generation stealth guided missile destroyers having displacement between 11,000 to 13,000 ton. It is not yet finalized. Indian Navy has planned to build six such destroyers, pegged at Rs 50,000 crore. Muscown Dock Limited is the only shipyard which is capable of building destroyers and is presently constructing Vishaka Patnam class destroyers whose development is expected to complete by 2025. At present, four destroyers of this class is planned, out of which INS Vishakhapatnam is already commissioned. Murmugaon under sea trials and Imphal and Surat are already launched. The Murmugaon is expected to commission this year or maybe next month and Imphal in 2023 and Surat in 2024. It is expected that post the construction of these destroyers, that is after 2024, the construction of Project 18 class destroyer will commence. The Project 18 is still in conceptual phase and is part of Indian Navy's Maritime Capability Perspective Plan. We can expect Navy to roll out RFP for Project 18 class destroyers in one or two years for which MDL is going to be a strong contender to undertake the construction of advanced and next generation vessels of massive displacement. MDL has planned to build a new floating dock of 15,000 ton capacity. Once the construction commences, it might take another 5 to 7 years to build destroyers of this class. The Project 18 is going to be an upscaled version of Project 15B class destroyer unless Warship Design Bureau of Indian Navy comes up with completely new design which seems to be unlikely as it will further delay the project timeline. Having displacement nearly 2 or 1.5 times the Project 15B class destroyers its hull is going to be a large version of Project 15B destroyers. Another major design change we can expect in Project 18 class destroyer is their radars. In almost all latest naval warship, we can see Israel's MFSR mast mounted radar. This will be likely to be replaced with DRDO's long range multifunctional radar, LR MFR. INS Unwaste, which is a technology demonstration vessel, is being built for DRDO at Cochin Shipyard Limited. It has been fitted with a housing for a new type of dual panel long range radar system by LRD, which is nothing but again LR MFR. It is an active phased air radar with a range in excess of 500 km and features octagonal face plates that are approximately 5.5 to 6 meters in diameter. Therefore, Instead of mast mount radar, the next generation destroyer or Project 18 class destroyer may feature a multi-phased active phased array radar or in short we call them APAR based on LR MFR of LRD. The NGD will require two such types of APAR radars, one for short wavelength and another one for longer wavelength. LR MFR will perform the role of target tracking to fire control for SAMS and BMD. The NGD will also feature Hamsa NG, a third generation ship borne hull mounted sonar system developed by DRDO and produced by BEL. The next generation destroyer will be built to fire the arrays of indigenous weapons for anti surface, anti submarine, and land attack roles. 
the key weapons of the destroyer is going to be brahmos missile brahmos ng lr sam er nirbhay mr sam xr sam vl sr sam and aed the vls will be capable of launching nearly 112 of these missiles these destroyers will also be equipped with lighter version of smart anti submarine missile for taking on enemy submarines and advanced torpedo decoy system this smart missile has a range of 643 kilometers carrying a light torpedo having a range of another 20 kilometers with 50 kg of high explosive warhead the 533 mm varunastra or some future version of it is likely to be the main torpedo armament of ngd it will also feature uvls or universal vertical launch system which will eliminate the need of multiple missile launchers navy has even planned to integrate dew that is direct energy weapon regarding which recently we have discussed in quite a detail dido is in process of developing a 100 kilowatt dew called durga 2 The PSU has also developed a 25 kilowatt dew that can neutralize a ballistic missile from a range of 5 km. BEL is already producing the laser dazzlers for Indian Navy warships. Now recently Lockheed Martin has delivered 60 plus kilowatt class high energy laser with integrated optical dazzler and surveillance called Helios which is the first tactical laser weapon system to be integrated into existing ships of US Navy. The dew to be used in NGD will be a version of 100 kilowatt dew which is being developed by DRDO. The Indian Navy has also officially supported the integration of dew in the next generation warship. The dew will be used as close in weapon system and may complement or supplement the traditional CIWA system. Overall, the NGD will feature all the latest and most lethal missiles developed by DRDO which will be an absolute nightmare for the adversaries. The NGD will have huge power requirement. Of course, they are large in size and have massive radars and direct energy weapons, so they need more power. This huge power requirement can be achieved with the help of integrated electric propulsion (IEP), which will be the future of propulsion for warships. The IEP eliminates the need of clutches, gearboxes by using electrical transmission rather than mechanical transmission of energy, making warship efficient. easy to maintain silent and stealthy lnt will join hands with drdo on the program called gas turbine enabling technology for developing the marine propulsion the planned gas turbine will deliver power of up to 36 megawatt and destroyer will have two of these to deliver the power of 72 megawatt in configuration with two diesel generators of 10 megawatt each and two electric propulsion motors of 20 megawatt tata advanced system tasl which has designed platform bridge and combat management system in past will work on the diesel generators and motors this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector